and clear last time around. It looks, well, it did look marginally more, but the, 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 the way that uh, the Alfa Romeo goes through Lavin, he's just picking him off again. So, uh, obviously, in a straight line, the advantage will stay with the Galaxy. But once we, once we get to the cornering, the lighter Alfa Romeo should haul it in. But the other Galaxy, the red one, now making a move for third place and swinging straight past uh, Jackie Oliver, almost as though he was standing still. Jackie Oliver attacks back, very nearly hits the tail of the uh, Starship Enterprise there and uh, down to fourth place for Jackie Oliver, but I don't think he's finished yet. No, I don't think he is. They've gone past another uh, XS3 champion, and uh, Stippler having a go now to take the lead. He's uh, going one side, goes the other. The lights are blazing. They've got some slower cars ahead of them. They've been past Rupert Keegan with that little Fiat That's at the back of the, uh, uh, of the field. Who are they going to catch next? The gap between them, 0.35 only after seven laps they've still got 13 and three quarter minutes to go and it's an absolute thriller because through into third place as you saw has come tom christensen in the 83 car jackie oliver down to fourth we've lost the um, anthony reed jaguar along the way they've gone past the isuzu bellet of alec paul 1969 british uh, saloon car champion well, I say one thing that's rather good is the fact that Frank Stippler's got the headlights blazing away as he chases down Jochen Mass for the lead because anyone driving a Galaxy will tell you it's very easy not to see somebody else in a smaller, lower car like the Alpha if they dive down the inside of you. So they've got to be very careful where they place the car. But anyhow, right now it's about half a second. No, it's not. It's about a tenth of a second as the Alfa Romeo yet again hauls in the Galaxy as they go through Lavin, going through the second part. Now they've got the kink coming up and then accelerate down the straight. And that's the point at which the Galaxy ought to pull clear again and the other galaxy in second place is 83 third place is uh, 83 pulling away uh, from jackie oliver's bmw as they head back down towards your part of the circuit yeah, it was brilliant and in fact there's a couple of belches of flame from tom christensen's galaxy and in 63 when uh, john wilman brought uh, a holman and moody galaxy over to the uk for uh, his power jack sears to drive they expected the car to be very quick in a, uh, in a straight line and actually not terribly good in the corners. They were pleasantly surprised and uh, rivals <laughs> were deeply horrified because uh, the combination went on to win that 1963 British Saloon Car Championship. Here comes Stippler. Behind him, though, he's got to be right on top of his game because uh, Tom Christensen is enjoying Goodwood again. He's been here several times and uh, he is loving it. Driven Austin A95 one year, didn't he? Most unlikely, I uh, believe. But uh, oh, and out on the uh, under the dirt comes Jackie Oliver uh, at Madgwick. Did well to stay away from the tyre wall there, going off at that corner, yeah, carrying a fair old lick of speed. Talking speed, look how close the Alfa Romeo is again, but actually look at the red and white Galaxy, that is catching and it's going to be a three-way battle. The fastest of that trio at the moment is Tom Christensen, and Frank Stippel actually had to come off the throttle a tiny weeny bit, so he didn't hit the back of the white Galaxy of Jochen Mass that's leading the race. We've got a Lotus Cortina to go past number 16, Rowan Atkinson, uh, any second now, so uh, <laughs> you can see the, the the headlights of the Alfa Romeo reflecting off the rear bumper, acres of rear bumper on that Galaxy. They're behind one of the Cortinas, and uh, this Galaxy went very quickly in Bill Shepard's hands uh, yesterday. Its owner is looking uh, good on the overall thing, but of course um, Alex Furiani will take over from Frank Stippler in the Alfa, and uh, down the, another Alfa gets. Uh, uh, down there, instantly dives to the outside, and through comes Frank Stippler. Uh, absolutely sensational piece of outbreaking into Woodcut. Frank Stippler leads the way. Well, he chose that moment very well, and now we've got 